This feature is called Connect Dots. It is intended to be used with the Decision Dots, but can effectively be used by itself. Connect Dots adds a very thin line between all the Decision Dots. It is much thinner than the regular lines of the strokes. Make sure the text box is active by clicking on it. You will see the black squares in the corners and in the middle of each sideline. I have set the guidelines all to black to better show the colors I will use. I will type in the uppercase B three times and then turn on the decision dots. To show the connect dots, I will turn off the regular stroke lines by clicking on the dot density button. That's the one with the three uppercase T's of varying dot density. And I'll set it to no dots. I'll turn on the connect dots and you'll see how much thinner the connect dots are. To help a child starting to write, it is important to give them some support so they learn how the letter is formed. By making the connect dot lines a light shade of gray or a light color, the child has the support to know where the stroke should be, but the lines are not so heavy and obvious. So I'll change the color of the connect dots by clicking on the down arrow by the S and then again the down arrow by the color and I'm going to turn it to a shade of gray. I'm going to make it a lot lighter shade of gray. So now the child can see the decision dots but also has the support of where the lines are accurately connecting the decision dots. Now I'm going to turn off the decision dots and you still have the letters that can be traced. You can add the start dot to indicate where the letter begins. You can add the stroke arrows. And you can even add the letter outline. These various combinations make your worksheet fun and different for the child to practice their handwriting. That's the connect dots. We hope you have fun using StartWrite to teach your handwriting.